Hey guys, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. It's Monday, February 12th. I got some positive news and the reason why I'm sharing these two articles on JP Morgan and as well as Bloomberg is because they are part of the mainstream financial news and influencers in the financial industry, banking, investment, and so forth. So to see them post positive content and topics that are uh, bullish, you know, or, or bullish on the crypto market, um, is a good sign. And as I've been talking about the stage being set for an awesome 2018 with a massive bull run. And if you have these type of positive news coming out on these sites, it's going to have the trickle down effect where people are going to feel more confident. Um, they're going to be encouraged about the market and they would more likely to, uh, invest and put their money in. So the first is a JP Morgan crypto currency report. It, is, it was a report put together by the analysts at JP Morgan, so not by Jamie Dimon, their CEO, but I'll talk a bit about that um, later. Uh, it was a 71-page research report focused around technology, and the report was titled Decrypting Cryptocurrencies, Technology Applications and Challenges. Um, so the most notable part of this report, uh, obviously they... They're not going to be, you know, they're not saying that crypto is the greatest thing ever. But the, the idea, what I want you to get from this is that their tone is changing. So they're, obviously they're going to take it slow. This is a bit new to them. They're used to Wall Street and so forth, um, the way things are currently done. And now the crypto market is, is disrupting the way investments are, are taking place where people are putting their money. But anyway, the report states, in the past returns, volatility. Volatilities and correlations persist. Cryptocurrencies could potentially have a role in diversifying one's global bond and equity portfolio. But in our view, that is a big if given the astronomic returns and volatilities of the past few years. So, you know, they have some cautionary terminology and wording in there, but the fact that they're saying that cryptocurrencies could be you know, part of diversifying your portfolio and in your ability to make money from an investment standpoint. I think that's a big win. This type of messaging coming from JP Morgan, the largest bank in the world. Um, let's see here. Now, obviously, this is a very different sentiment from what Jamie Dimon, as you guys know, the CEO of, of, uh, of JP Morgan, has come out in the past that it's a fraud, it's a scam, it's a bubble, blah, blah, blah. But he backtracked, maybe about a month ago, he did an interview saying, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that Bitcoin's a fraud or whatever like that, and I believe in blockchain, blah, blah, blah. So he has um, you know, come out and, and kind of backtracked a bit there. So we're seeing slowly and, and, and little by little the tone, the sentiment changing, right? Even from huge bank like this, an analyst report. Do you think that out report doesn't go throughout the company, throughout the industry? So that's big. And, and a bank of this brand and this size will have a lot of influence. And as I've been also talking about and been mentioning in my videos, Goldman Sachs will be launching a crypto trading desk come June 2018. So we are going to see some massive, a lot of money going into this market and some, I, I think some massive growth this year. So Hold on to your crypto, guys. I hope you didn't sell in the dip. I hope you actually bought more. Um, so I wanted to share that. I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description to these articles so you guys can read the details. But this is big. This is big. You got a JP Morgan um, having you know, some positive news about crypto by adding into your investment portfolio. Now, the other uh, news, now, while not uh, anything specific to the crypto market as far as long term but the fact that they're highlighting on their website that look regulatory fears have died down the u.s senate is going to take a do no harm approach they're going to regulate but are not going to stifle and kill the technology and the cryptocurrencies that these things are going to exist um they talked about bitcoin rebounding after all of these things happening and you know, mentioning Bitcoin, Ripple, Ether, and Litecoin, and talking about their growth and advancement, um, and talking about, you know, after weeks of facing a lot of negative headlines, right? We had a 
ton of negative news in January. It was brutal. Uh, you know, talking about how a lot of value was wiped out. They said here, cryptocurrencies want a reprieve of sorts as top U.S. regulators testify before a Senate committee called for greater oversight without proposing industry killing measures. That news gave enough positive momentum for traders to shrug off cryptocurrency ban from Thailand's central bank. So definitely a positive sign. We're seeing the sentiment. We're seeing some some change here. Um, and that's why I'm bullish on crypto and, and the cryptos I'm holding. And I'm you know trying to buy steadily as along the way as, as you know things dip a bit. I bought some when the market crashed. Um, and I'm holding on. I'm expecting a huge 2018. And just wanted to highlight this, guys. I think this is important. Bloomberg, JP Morgan, we're seeing a a movement uh, or, or a change in the tone and sentiment here, guys, um, because people are interested in investing in cryptocurrencies and these big banks and investment funds and firms are going to have to accommodate that or they're going to lose money. And I talked about in my videos about the launch of Grayscale and Galaxy Digital, which are investment crypto investment funds. Um, so there's a lot of money waiting to come in, guys, this market. So hold on to your crypto. You know, I don't. Once again, this is not financial or investment advice. You make your own decision. Do your own. You're responsible for your own finances. Um, but personally, I, I bought some in the dip. I'm going to continue to buy small amounts as as you know, depending on how the market goes, um, and just hold on for that for that big wave and that big bull run, guys, and cash out some this year, and obviously continue to hold. So just my thoughts. What do you guys think about this? Um, the news on, on Bloomberg, as well as the JP Morgan report, um, the, te the tone of sentiment changing, you know, going back to even given the fact that going back to last year, Jamie Dimon was saying this is a fraud, a scam, a blah, 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 all that crap. Um, now they're changing their tone. So what do you guys think about this? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe for more videos on cryptocurrencies. I'll talk to you guys later.